Hey guys, Anthony Jones here. We're out on the water and today we're going to be doing a comparison video of the E-Propulsion Spirit 1.0 Plus, which is a three horsepower electric outboard versus the Torquedo Travel 1103C, which is also a three horsepower electric outboard. We're going to do a top speed test between the two outboards on the 1436 John Boat. We're going to take a look at the design features of each outboard, the components involved, and we're going to also talk about run times. You're not going to want to miss it. Stick around, guys, and let's take a look at them. Woo! Welcome to the three horsepower electric outboard shootout featuring the E-Propulsion Spirit 1.0 Plus and the Torquedo Travel 1103C. If you want to get in touch with an E-Propulsion electric outboard dealer after watching this video, check the link in the video description. For a limited time only, they are running a promo code to save you 5% off your outboard purchase. Torquedo founded in 2005 and E-Propulsion founded in 2012 are compared often. But in 2021, who is the true engineering pioneer in the electric outboard industry? Let's take a look at the equivalent models from each manufacturer and find out who's on top in 2021. We'll start things off with the biggest question that I get, which is, what's the cost? The Torquedo Travel 1103C retails at $2,699. The Spirit 1.0 Plus by E-Propulsion retails at $2,199, making it $500 less. Both electric outboards are 3 horsepower. The Travel is 1.1 kilowatt and the Spirit is 1 kilowatt. The voltage on the Travel is 29.6 and the Spirit operates on 48 volts. The battery capacity on the Travel is 915 watt hours. The battery capacity on the Spirit 1.0 Plus is 1276 watt hours, which is 40% more. Lastly, Full throttle run time on the travel is 50 minutes, while the Spirit 1.0 Plus is 75 minutes, giving it 50% more run time than the Travel 1103C. Now, while my good friend Chris from ATF Hydrographics and Senate John Boats sets up this rig with some GoPros, let's talk about what we're running today. This is the Top Gun John Boat. It is a 1436 Grumman. I built this boat for electric lakes only. Now this boat does have some weight to it. It's got a casting deck up front with storage compartments. It's got a floor system. It, has, it retains the original middle bench with foam in it. It's got onboard electronics. It does have a live well in this boat. We've also got a cooler. So there's some weight to it guys. My 48 volt battery usually goes back here, but I've taken it out. So there's no weight back there with the battery, but I am leaving my 12 volt deep cycle battery up front for all my onboard electronics. So that's about 55 pounds that's in this front deck. I'm not sure of the exact weight of this boat fully loaded as it sits, but just make a mental note guys, when you see the top speeds today with these three horsepower outboards, that this is a fully kitted out John boat. Let's take a look at the top speed produced by the Torquedo Travel 1103C.
Now let's take a look at the top speed produced by the E-Propulsion Spirit 1.0 Plus. My thoughts, when you're getting down to a few tenths of a miles per hour, there's really no noticeable difference in speed. You can see in the video the speed fluctuated with both outboards and they were both consistently in the same speed range of high 5 miles per hour. On both test runs, I sat in the same place in the boat and the conditions on the water were the same as I tested the outboards back to back. One thing to note, the Spirit 1.0 Plus that I tested was an extra short shaft. Torquedo doesn't make an extra short shaft, so I went with their short shaft. Based on the performance I saw on the water, I don't think it really mattered either way, but I thought it would be worth mentioning. Top speed results, travel 1103C, 5.9 miles per hour, Spirit 1.0 Plus, 6 miles per hour. I'm going to call it 6 miles per hour because that's what I got on film. The app I was using saved the max top speed of 6.1, but I wasn't recording. Nonetheless, it's safe to say when it comes to top speed, these two outboards run neck and neck. Install on both units is pretty straightforward. The difference lies with the number of parts and the ease of the install. Both units start with a shaft. On the travel, you install the battery and then there's a pin that locks the battery in place. My only concern with this is losing the pin upon disassembly. Next, you hook up the battery cable. Maybe it's just me and maybe you get used to it over time, but I had a hard time aligning the cable properly to connect. There's pins inside, the cable locks in a certain place, you have to thread it on, all the while fighting the cable. Again, it may just be me, but I honestly got frustrated. Unbelievable. And last, you install the tiller handle and connect the communication cable. On the travel, the tiller handle is a separate part. Both outboards feature magnetic kill switches. Moving on to the Spirit 1.0 Plus install. On the Spirit, the tiller and communication cable are integrated to the shaft, so the first thing you do is flip it up and then install the shaft. Next up, you install the battery. The battery is secure with a built-in latch and there's no pin required. Last, you connect the battery cable. Pretty simple and only takes a few seconds to do. Earlier in the video, I mentioned the Spirit battery has 40% more capacity and 50% more full throttle runtime than the Travel, but let's cover a few other battery related details. The charging time on the Travel 1103C battery is 10 and a half hours. The charging time on the Spirit 1.0 Plus battery is eight and a half hours. Solar charging on both units is possible. The Travel allows for up to 50 watts, while the Spirit allows up to 180 watts. And it might not mean much to you until you drop your battery in water, but between the two units, only one of the batteries actually floats. Let's talk about the info display on these units. The Travel 1103C displays your battery indicator, real-time power in watts, remaining range, and real-time speed. The Spirit 1.0 Plus displays your battery indicator in a block format, real-time power in watts, voltage, and remaining runtime in minutes. Let's go over the power connectors. I don't mean to beat a dead horse, but I feel part of the problem I have with connecting the battery cable on the travel was the connector. And not just the design, but the material. The connectors on the travel are plastic. I didn't want to force them because I felt like I could break the plastic, but at the same time, because the aqua cable fights against you, you almost have to force the connector in place. And honestly, if I didn't have a spirit to compare it against, I wouldn't know the difference. The connector on the Spirit 1.0 Plus is smooth. It locks in place effortlessly, and a reason for this is the material. The Spirit power connector is stainless steel, and it features a surface treatment called PVD, which makes the material wear resistant. Apple actually uses the same technology on its most recent iPhones. When you're installing and uninstalling the battery dozens and dozens of times, it just makes sense that you make your power connector as durable as possible. 
A few quick details on the motors. Both motors are brushless and both are direct drive. They are maintenance free and both are very quiet. Have a listen for yourself. It's a minimal difference and hard to tell on video, but the Travels lower unit is a bit longer and wider than the lower unit on the Spirit. But a big difference between these two outboards is the Spirit's ability to run an external battery. You simply hook up the external battery cable to the Spirit and increase your runtime. This can give you a total full throttle runtime of over four hours. Of course, you'll have to purchase an e-propulsion battery in addition to the Spirit, but definitely an innovative option to quadruple your full throttle runtime. That leads us to the conclusion of the three horsepower electric outboard shootout. I heard somewhere that you can make up your own opinion, but you can't make up your own facts. In this video, I covered a lot of information. Here's some of the bigger ticket fact-based items that matter most to me. The Spirit 1.0 Plus gives 50% more full throttle runtime for $500 less than the Travel 1103C. Unlike the Travel 1103C, the Spirit 1.0 Plus has the ability to increase that runtime by adding a 48 volt external battery. It's an upgrade, but it's also an option. Then there's the additional ticket items that separate the e-propulsion from the Torquedo, the stainless steel power connector, the integrated tiller handle, and the floating battery. Here's my stance. If I were to buy a Torquedo and never knew e-propulsion existed, I probably would think the Torquedo is the next greatest thing since sliced bread, besides the power connector that is. There's a lot of guys out there running Torquedos that are perfectly happy with them. They work, but how many guys have had the opportunity to run the Torquedo head to head against something different, newer, more innovative. Well, I have, and I choose e-propulsion. Great for all boat applications, and in my Georgia backyard, especially great for fishing our electric-only reservoirs. Check out the prior video I did on my channel comparing the Spirit 1.0 Plus to the Minn Kota Traxxas. And check out the brand new Spirit 1.0 Evo. Great for sailboats. This innovative three-horsepower electric outboard features hydro generation, which charges the battery while sailing. It also has a backlit tiller display, safety wristbands that provide man overboard protection, and the option to run remote steering. The Evo is the same cost as the Travel 1103C seen in this video at $2,699. Don't forget to click the link in the video description to contact an e-propulsion dealer, and be sure to use the code included to save 5% off your electric outboard purchase. Thanks for tuning in, subscribe to the channel for more electric outboard content, and we'll catch you on the next one.